In this video, we are going to understand the interface of Stata. In Stata, we have different menus. We can input or use Stata to run some commands or perform some statistics or analysis using the menus. Or we can use command. Or we can use a do file, which we will discuss in other videos. So there are three input methods, the menu, command window, and the do file. So let's start by inputting the data in Stata memory, and then we would be able to better understand the interface of Stata. There are few data sets that are pre-installed with Stata. As soon as you install the Stata software in your system, those data sets will also be installed. You can access those data sets by clicking on File menu, Example data sets, and then we have Example data sets installed with Stata. There are multiple data sets, but for this video, I'm going to use the Auto data. I click on Use option use link and the data will be loaded and you can see these different variables are loaded. You would also note that a command had been generated and the command is sysuse. This is the command, the file name. And that command had also been written in the history window. So now let's divide Stata interface into different windows. First, we have the history window where any command that is executed in Stata will be recorded. Then we have the command window where we will write the command. If we are going to use the command window instead of the menus, then we have the results window and this is the only window with no title. This results window will display all the analysis, the tables that we are generating. So any output that is being generated, the command itself and the output will be recorded in this result interface. We have the variable window where the name of the variable and the labels are shown. Then we have the property window and this property window will display the property of the variable that we have selected. So let's select price and you will notice that all the information related to price is displayed here. The name of the variable, its label, the type of the data, its format and these types of Things will be discussed in future videos. If I want to change the variable, I can simply unlock this and change the variable name from here. But let's keep it locked. And we normally use a different method of changing the variable name or labels. Coming back to the variable window, if we have more variables, there are multiple variables and the list is long, then we can shortlist it or we can only display the variables that we want. So in this case, if I just want to display the price variable, I can filter it. Or if I filter it by A, so all the variables that have the A alphabet would be displayed here. We can rearrange the size of these windows or the label or names within these windows. And then we have a data view which can be accessed with an edit command. And the data view represents all the data that is there in our data set. We can access this data window by other, either using the edit command or the browse command. The difference between edit and browse is that in browse, we would only be able to see the data. So that is a read only mode. Whereas in add it, we can read or write, change the data, a particular value 
or delete a row. On the left hand corner you would notice a grey bar which is a status bar and this will display the current working directory. By working directory we mean that whatever file will be saved or we will import a file, Stata will assume this as the working directory and it would import or save that specific file in this directory. So currently uh, my working directory is energy research which is within Stata and that those specific folders are saved with, within E drive. If I want to change the working directory, I can either change it by going to the file menu, selecting change working directory and then navigate to the directory that I want to save as working directory. So in this case, I want to have project one as working directory. I will just select that project one folder, press OK. And now you can notice that the working directory had changed. You would also notice that a command had been generated, which is CD and within inverted commas, we have the path of that folder. We can use this CD command, which is change directory command to change the directory. So if we want to use the command line instead of menus, then we will use CD command. So before moving forward, I have run a few commands, which is summarize and summarize again with the, with few additional options. So if I wanted to select any command that I have previously used, then I would simply click single click on that command and it would be loaded in my command window. If I double click on that command, it will start will execute that command. I can also use page up or page down to navigate through those commands. Or I can use control to select all those commands that I want to select and copy. I can either copy them, send them to do file or clear them. The three mostly used menus in Stata are the data menu, the graphics and statistics and their name are pretty much suggesting the things that they would perform. So the data menu would perform, for example, creating or changing the variable, sorting the variable, combining data sets. Graph will make graph or charts. If we want to perform certain statistical tests, then those tests can be found in statistics menu. So for example, the summarize command that we just executed can also be found by clicking on statistics, summarize table and tests, then again summarize and descriptive statistics and summary statistics. A dialog box would open and its title would represent the task that it would perform. So in this case, we can select the variables that we want to summarize. Then either we can click on cancel and if we click on cancel, it would not perform anything and then just close this specific dialog box. If you press OK, this command will be executed and we would have the summary statistics of these three variables. Or lastly, we can click on submit. And what this submit would do, it would execute the command, but at the same time, keep this dialog box open. So in case we want to perform some additional tests. So let's try it. I click on submit. We have the summary statistics of these three variables. And I just realized that instead of these three variables, I also wanted this length and turn and displacement variable to be in the summary statistics. So I select them and then I click submit again. So now you would realize that this submit button is beneficial when we want to run multiple commands or we want to perform multiple tests from the same dialog box and we can do that without closing it. 
Further, you would notice three icons on the left hand corner. We have a question mark, a recycle option and a copy option. So let's start with the copy option. This copy option will copy the command in the clipboard. So if I click this option, the command had been copied and I can paste it anywhere. This is a nice way to learn our copy commands. Then we have this reset option. And if I click on this reset icon, it would reset this dialog box. And lastly, I have this question mark icon. And this question mark icon would open a viewer window or a help window, which would explain this summarize command. So this is a viewer window. It summarizes, it, it briefly explains the summarize command, this command that we have been using. We have its syntax and also the menu where this specific command is residing. If we wanted to learn this command in further detail, we can click on this link and it would open the PDF manual and from this R, you would notice that it stands for status base reference menu. So let's click on this link and it opens the stata base reference menu where this summarize command is explained in quite detail. Lastly, we have this toolbar that have quick menus or quick buttons that we frequently use. So we have this open stata data file, save, print, then we have this log option, we have the do file option, we can either edit the data, which we use the edit command, we can browse the data, we can open the variable manager, or we can break a command. So say if there is a command that you are executing, and it would take a while to execute or Stata is executing in the middle of that execution, you want to break that command, then you would use this option. So currently I am not executing any command, Stata is not in the process of executing a command. So this break option isn't available to us. Please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You will get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Also leave a comment in the comment box below for a recommendation or any suggestions that you would like to give.